everybody. I hope everyone can hear me. I am actually out and about and I didn't want to miss this live. So I wanted to uh, hopefully let me know in comments. Let me get the comments, see if I can get them up. Um, and hopefully I am auditable. Let me know in comments if you're watching, if you can hear me. We had a bit of a situation and I had to leave my office and didn't want to miss um, coming live to you. Let me see if I can get into the um, channel. And it kept saying that I was mute, mute, but hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I can see that you guys can see me and let's see if I can see some comments. Yes, perfect. That's awesome. All right. So Happy Monday, everyone. And for those that are in our video challenge, I am super excited to have you all join us. If you do not know what the video visibility challenge is, you're going to want to check out onlinetravelboss.com forward slash challenge, where for the next 21 days, we are going to be live. All of those travel business owners that are joining us will be live uh, showing up and showing out and being visible in our travel business. We've got some amazing prizes that we're going to be doing um, in uh, for the winners of that challenge and for the travel advisors that have participated in the challenge before you know how exciting this can be. So I've already seen some videos already posted Love, love it, doing this and hosting this challenge with you. So if you are interested in getting rid of your video visibility shyness, or if you're video shy and you'd like to join us, it is only $1. Come on and join us inside. We are going to be hosting that challenge inside of our AI for Travel uh, advisors group. And so that is where I will be showing up every day. And our first meeting is at six today when we kick off the challenge. So let's dive in to sort of part three of our social media series that I've been doing over the last couple of weeks. And so if you missed it, there's always so much to keep up with when you guys are following me. So if you happen to miss our our um, our social flow, which is the new custom GPT that I created for you all, you're going to want to check that out as well. And you can go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash social flow, which is a custom GPT. And if you don't know what GPT is and you've been under a rock, it is a conversational AI tool that you can use to help you pretty much do anything that you can think of when it comes to creating content, social media posts, video scripts, helping you organize your life. It is the cat's meow. And so I have actually been using ChatGPT now for about it uh, this December. It'll be going on is it only a year? No, it's got to be two years. I think it's two years. It's going on two years. And so I have been creating prompts for you all um, for the last year and a half. And then I have upped my own AI knowledge game. And now I've brought to you a custom GPT that is free for my community. And all you have to do is use it. And it already has the prompts that I've been giving you to create your content plans, identify your ideal market, and all of the above. You're going to want to catch up. Uh, check out my video last week and the week before where I actually introduce you on how to create a content calendar for 30 days. Now that you've got the content, what do you do with that content? You're going to actually need to schedule it. So we're going to talk today about how do you schedule the content and forget. I call it sort of the create and release process that you should be in your travel business. So in comments, let me know how many of you guys already have tried out our social flow GPT. How many of you already have your next 30 days worth of content? We are at the beginning of quarter four for 2024. Do you have your content game already planned for this month and the upcoming quarter? Let me know in comments. So 
I actually was working all this weekend to sort of finalize the the touches for that GPT. And so really am super excited about what you guys will think about that GPT. Um, I am obviously, um, I'm not in my office. I'm, I'm actually in a conference room in the uh, car repair place waiting for our car to get fixed. And so normally I would bring up the screen and show it to you, but I do encourage you guys to check out last week's training where I actually walked through the GPT and showed you and introduced it to you so that you can create your own content plan. But what I find to be probably one of the most difficult things for travel advisors to do is now that you've got a plan is how do you show up and be consistent in that delivery? How many of you guys struggle with that? Like you've got stuff to say, but then life gets in the way and you don't have the time to actually get things scheduled. So type a zero or a one if this sounds like you. Somebody says that they're a little behind and that they got to get catch uh, they got to get caught up and uh, get some ideas from uh, tonight's meeting. Awesome. So if you are a part of our video visibility challenge, we did do today's first video challenge prompt. And so you guys have that. So hopefully you have that in your uh, inbox, Jack, and I'm super excited to have you here live with me tonight. And so the first question I'm going to ask you guys is, do you have a clear mapped out social media schedule for the next week? Like, do you have a specific time that you schedule? Do you have your platform? platforms identified that you schedule on and do you have that mapped out? Type a zero if that is not you, type a one if that is you. What I'd like to see is kind of who's got the plan and if not, this is definitely the, the training for you all. Number two question I'm going to ask you is, do you find more, do you find yourself Sorry, do you find yourself spending more than an hour every day or even week trying to figure out what to post? Type a zero if you're that's you, or type a one if you've got it all together. Type a zero. All right, so I'm getting a few responses, and so you're figuring you're having a hard time figuring out what to post, you're having a hard time putting together your plan. Last question is Are you consistently posting? Um, content that ties to your business goals, or are you random around your postings? Type a zero if you are not consistent. Type a one if you feel like you're consistent and your posts are consistent to your goals. Let me give you an example of what I mean by consistency when it comes to your goals. Is my goal every month, every quarter is to grow our email list, right? So it's to grow our email list. Maybe your goal in this fourth quarter is to grow your email list or to make sales. We're getting ready to come up on the biggest spending month of the year, which is November for Black Friday. And then we've got Christmas and we've got New Year's. Three months of or three events that are really going to drive those two goals. So do you have specific goals and does your social media and your marketing align to your goals? Type a zero if the answer is no. Type a one if the answer is yes. And listen, the questions are not designed to judge, but for us to just have an under an open conversation among friends to understand where you guys are when it comes to developing a marketing plan that's actually going to get you the results that you need. All right, so we're getting a lot of zeros. And if you typed zero any one of these questions, then today's training, it is just for you. So Again, I wish that I could uh, type and uh, type and talk, but I can't today. So I'm going to just uh, make a pause and I want you guys to save this URL. It is online travelboss.com forward slash social flow. And that's S O C I A L flow F L O W. And that is going to get you access to the custom GPT for you to help you identify who your ideal client is. And then also help you develop a 30 day content plan. Now we need that content plan so that you know what to post, right? So the first question that I asked you, that will go away when you start to develop what it is that you want to talk about. And we want to connect what we want to talk about to our ideal client and to our goals for the month and for the quarter. All right. So 
Today's topic, and for those who may not know me, my name is Sunday Gardner, the online travel boss, and I come to you at least now three times a week talking all things launching and operating a successful and profitable business. And for the last several weeks, we have been focused on marketing and probably through the end of this quarter, that is what we're going to focus on. Do you know why we're focusing on that? Because what you all tell me your number one problem is, is getting clients consistently, having a way to get and communicate your offers to clients. We don't sell to strangers. We sell to people who already know us. So if you don't have a community of people that already know, like, and trust you, you have a marketing problem. So that's the reason why we're going to be focused on marketing this month, next month, and even going into the end of the year. So the last couple of uh, videos that I have done have really been around social media marketing and uh, what you can do to help with your struggle, which is content and release. And so today we're going to talk about three tips on what you can do to once you have the content to get it released, right? So we create and release and we're going to talk about three tips to do that. So the first tip is really around planning, right? So it's going to be actually three P's that I'm going to give you that are going to support this idea of create and release. It's going to be the first P is plan. We want to plan our content. And let's talk about the planning foundation really should be around what that strategy is going to be. So type in the comments and let me know what your goals are. Is it to get leads? Is it to maybe have a trip or signature itinerary that you want to get? What is your goal for the month of October? Is it to get new leads? Really, there should be three goals that you have when it comes to marketing. Awareness, right? Attraction. You want to attract new people to your business or existing people to your business. Two, goal is to relate. You want to have an ongoing relationship. Maybe you're hosting events. Maybe you're releasing content. And if you're in video visibility, you are releasing um, videos in the next three weeks to help with that relationship. And then C is to sell. All right. So some people are saying that your goals for this month are to get new leads. So let's plan that. How are you going to do that? Is the content that you're creating for the month of October and this quarter, whoever said leads, is it generating leads? Is the content designed to generate leads? We don't want random content. We want content that's specific to getting people to raise their hand. So if you say your goal is to grow your email list, What's the offer that you have that will get people to raise their hand and give you their email address, right? So that's what the P is all about, is planning out the what. What is it that will get somebody to say, yes, Shamika, thank you for joining. Jack, thank you for joining. And the Good Life Starter Pack, not sure what your name is. If you could type your name, then I'll, I'll um, address you directly. What is it that you are going to create or promote this quarter that's going to get somebody to give you their email address. What's the plan? Type in the comments. If you don't have a plan, that's okay. Join me in video visibility and we will talk about what that should be. Um, Sharifa, nice to meet you. And so what's your offer? What is it that you're going to talk about that's going to generate interest in people giving you the email address? Because let's, let's face it, if you're planning to get emails, there needs to be an exchange. What's the exchange going to be? Because people, they don't want more stuff in their inbox and there isn't a um, reason to get uh, to give someone their email to you, right? So we want to have a thing, something of value to your ideal client. Now, if you use our social flow, um, uh, chat GPT or our GPT, it will actually help you with some ideas on what you could offer as your give exchange offer, right? I call that a stranger offer. So P is all about planning. We don't jump into anything without a plan. So we want to have a super clear plan about what it is that we want to give in order to get, right? So if you want to get someone's email address, what are you going to give in exchange for that? Type in the comments if you already have a stranger offer defined. How many of you already have a stranger offer? Now, 
you know, the 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 things that do guide need to decide destination, things to do. I assume that's what you mean by that, Jamika, is a things to do guide, which is a great offer, right? And so the question I would have for your things to do guide is who is it designed for? Who is the person that you want to help get out of town? What are these, what, what, what does your tribe of people potentially need to be doing that they're not doing now? Okay. So as long as you have that identified, you can take them anywhere in the world that you want. So you get to pick all the destinations that you want to do in um, that particular destination, as long as you have the clear identification of who you want to work with, right? Is it couples? Is it moms? Is it families? Who is it that you want this things to do guide to be for? That's all the planning. Once you define the plan and the who, everything else becomes so much easier to create. So P is all about planning. We want to know what it is the goal is and who it is it's designed for and what the offer is. That's what the plan will do. The second tip is really around creating. And let me, let me further, let me further add you know, one of the things that make it really difficult when you are creating content or creating um, sort of a reason for people to connect with you or talk to you or even recognize you is, is that we we sort of invent the wheel every single time we come to the table. Every time we sit down and we think about social media posts, we start from scratch. And Part of the planning process is really to take that, that ambiguity out of the planning process. And let me give you an example of how that is. I just, I just revamped our entire quarter four, right? I had a plan, went through this weekend, and I was like, you know what? We, we're doing a lot of different things. Let me streamline it and let me revamp it. Our plan is pretty straightforward. Every, every week, every quarter, every month. The, the type of content that I create is consistent. Let me tell you what my plan, my content plan is. Our general marketing consists of the following. We do a weekly newsletter. We do a weekly blog. We do three times a week training um, where I show up and I do training and I do an event once a month, right? Now, that may be a lot for you. I didn't always, I didn't start off with that amount of volume, but the plan is consistent. So when I sit down and I need to think about what do I need to say and in the manner by which I'm going to release it, it's consistent. I don't come to the drawing board and think, oh, am I going to do a blog this week? Oh, or am I going to do a newsletter this week? It's already defined. So when I talk about planning, it's not necessarily around the offers, although it is, but before that, what is it that you want to do every week month quarter, right? And again, you don't have to do the same thing that I'm doing, but what I want you to do is commit to yourself as to how you're going to show up. For those who are in our video visibility, you've committed to me that for the next three weeks, you're going to show up through video. Fine. If that's the plan for the next three weeks, and that is all that you can commit to, commit to that. Whatever it is that you decide that you want to do in terms of your relationship activity, be consistent. Okay. So if it's videos and it's going to be video once a week, or it's going to be video once a month, whatever you decide, be consistent. So I'm going to give you mine again. So you're clear. So some people are like, Oh my God, I got a little stuff from you Sunday, right? A blog a week, a newsletter a week. We do. I personally do training because I am a trainer. I am a coach, right? So I do training. So we release at least three videos, and then we do reels every day, and then we do an email in your inbox every single day, right? So that's what we commit to when it comes to our plan. So once I know the type of content that I'm going to deliver every week, then I sit down with ChatGPT and I say, okay, my theme for the quarter is to grow my email list for, uh, I think it was, uh, who's, comment was that that was Shamika she no not Shamika I think that was somebody said that they were going to grow their email list I can't find your who it was so whoever said that they're going to grow their email list you're going to grow your email list you're going to have an offer and that offer is your guide right your things to do guide and so every month you you're going to promote your offer that's going to be the plan or are you going to run Facebook ads 
or are you going to go to events and you're going to be in someone's uh, group and you're going to talk about your guide and that's the way you're going to get what's the plan you don't want to just sort of belabor the, the the first p plan because it's probably the most important item that you can do when it comes to creating anything or doing anything in your business when it comes to marketing is the plan don't just step up to the game and then be upset that it doesn't work when you don't have a strong game plan in place, right? Nobody plays a sport. Nobody shows up without preparation and expect that they're going to knock it out of the park. So don't do the same and don't be, don't be frustrated when you, when you show up and you're like, well, it doesn't work for you if you're not planning, right? We do a lot of planning. I would probably say my percentage of planning is probably 60% of the activity that I do is around planning and preparation for whatever it is that we do, then we execute and then we try. All right. So P don't want to be, do not want to underestimate the effort or what it takes to actually have a plan. Now, if you need help, my recommendation is join us to the visibility is the perfect opportunity. We're planning, we're actually releasing, and then we're going to be tracking. All right. So Number two, you got to, uh, if you see me looking down, it's because I don't want to forget. I got all these great tips that I don't want to forget to share with you. And I am so not in my <laughs> comfort zone, but I am not going to let this stop me. Number two P is to actually, you've planned the content, you know what you're doing, you know what is the goal. And now P, the second P is get it post, right? You plan it, post it. Don't sit on it. Don't think about it. Don't mull over it. Just post it. Just get it done. Like this is probably the biggest um, thing for me, particularly when it comes to video content is I would think of an idea. I would plan out the videos and I'm going to even say now I, I still have this sort of mental block around videos. I've been doing videos for years. I first handedly understand how difficult it is to show up in the video space, right? And showing your face and talking and doing this thing. And so, you know, we've made a commitment to do reels. And so one of the things that I found is me actually sitting and actually recording a reel is a big hang up for me. I don't know about you all. So, um, I, one of the things that I have to do is, is I have the plan to do the reel, but I don't plan the stage, the setup of it. So it, it, that's what prevents me from doing it. So I now have a teleprompter. I do all of my scripts at one time. I've already load them in the teleprompter. So when it's time for me to do real production and posting, right. I just sit and I do it all in one batch. I sit down, I go through all my real scripts, I go right in front of my prompter and I read them out, right? So it's now no longer a barrier for me to get it done. So when it comes to the second P of posting, don't let your lack of a plan to the thing that's your internal hangup prevent you from getting it done. So if you, let's say you're doing, I watch someone's video and she created a really great um, video, but it was a pre-recorded um, design video. And so it had um, pictures of her. She did a voice layover and it was, it was great. It was a really well thought out video. If that's the way that you you want to show up and you want to create your video content, don't let your you getting to the second P be the hang up because you didn't all of the video scripts or what the plan is going to be. So what I will tell you is the number two potentially gets hampered because you haven't done a good number one, right? How long are these posts usually going to be? So when you ask for a post, it depends on the type of post that you're doing. If it's a text post, it could be short. It could be long. It depends on you. If it's a video, you know, what I will say pretty much across the platforms, you want to make sure that your videos, if you're doing reels, they need to be, they need to be at least 30 seconds. If you're doing a long reel, um, let's say your preferred platform is YouTube. It needs to be at least two to three minutes long because that's enough time for people to watch it and for YouTube to get the 
what metric on it. So it really depends on your platform, Jack. So you're asking, um, so if it's a text post, so again, you've got all these different types of content that you can create, right? If you're doing video, reels, 30 seconds, shorts, 30 seconds. YouTube just increased their shorts from one minute to three minutes. I'm very excited about that because, you know, it's been a really long time that I've had to have all my short videos one minute. Now they've allowed, they're going to be allowing two to three minute long uh, shorts to be released. So that's, that's a plus. So it really just depends on which platform you're going to be on, Jack. So if it's... Um, like I said, if it's a long video and you're using YouTube, let's say, I would do long video and that means stay long, not the portion size. I would do at least a two to three minute video, post that, um, upload that onto YouTube or actually go live and make sure that the live is two to three minutes long. Okay. So number two is don't get stuck in your own head. Don't get stuck in planning post. Your idea is to release. Make sure that you're releasing. Don't come up with all these great ideas. Don't stay stuck. And I've got, you know, a 30-day plan and then you don't schedule it. You don't actually do the activity that requires you to actually get it launched. Do I mix it up usually? That's a really good question. So I am on several different platforms. When I started, I only started on Facebook. I was only on Facebook and I doubled down on Facebook until I figured it out. That was it. So with Facebook, you know, I started several, several, many years ago. And um, the only place I was in when I first started was Facebook group. Facebook personal page is not, was not like it is now. If you don't have a Facebook group and you, I don't recommend you doing your Facebook group at this point, 2024, I say go on your Facebook personal page and post there go live on your first your personal page or upload a video on your personal page. I would also recommend if you are going to do multiple types of things, I would do a long video on your personal page and then I would do maybe a short video reel on your personal page. Business page, you could upload to your business page as well. Um, the only problem with Facebook business pages is is that you aren't going to get natural organic visibility without actually investing dollars in it. Doesn't really matter what it is, your business page, just that's just the way that Facebook is. So I would actually say go on your personal page. Um, and we're going to be talking about that tonight inside of video visibility, Jack, around which platform form you are on and some different strategies that you can use in terms of getting those um, videos visible. Now, if it was, if it was a text post and um, I would, I would mix it up. So we do a variety of different. So even within a platform, we're doing video, we're doing text, we're doing polls, we're doing, we're mixing it up in terms of the types of posts that we're doing inside of one platform. YouTube, it's all video content. So we are only doing long videos and short videos and we're mixing it up. So to answer your question, long ways, I would say that I would do a combination of long and short types of videos on the platform. All right. I have talked actually quite a bit. So let me get to number three because I, we do have office hours that we do need to get to. So number three is promote. So number one is plan. Number two is post. And number three is promote. And promotion is all around, you create the piece of content, video, text, images, whatever your social media content is, you need to promote it. You need to ensure that you've got a way to promote that thing, right? So don't create a thing without promoting it and don't promote it without uh, tracking it. And so therapy is all around promoting. Let's you did it today's prompt is you want to let people know you want to be putting that link to that video or that post and putting it all over the place sending it out to your email list you want to be posting it inside of your facebook group or your business page you want to at minimum if you have a link of something you want it in three different places right 
personal page, business page, email, right? <laughs> personal page, real email, right? I want you guys to think of it in threes. At minimum, when you do a piece of anything, make sure it is cross-promoted at least three times. Talk about it at least three times. At minimum, I'm going to tell you all throughout this challenge that we want you talking about it more than that, but we want you sharing it. That should be really what you think of every time you do something. You should be sharing, communicating, talking about that piece of thing that you created and offer a social media post. It doesn't matter. Talk about it and talk about it often. All right. Listen, those are your three Ps. If you'd like to join me inside of our daily office hours, you can join me at Sunday sundaygardener.com and get uh, join us in inside of the Zoom room. Listen, all this week, we're going to be talking about what you need to be to show up. I did not get the opportunity to actually show you about batching. I'm probably going to do that in tomorrow's lesson. But what I want you to take away out of this lesson is, is that three Ps, plan, post, promote. Plan, post, promote. Those are the three Ps squared that you should be doing when it comes to your social media. And tomorrow I will show you how you can make that even easier by batching up your content that you create. You're already batching it up through using social flow, but we actually want to batch up the releasing and the posting and the scheduling of our content. And I'll actually do a demo of Travel Pro Suite so that you can see how you can batch it up pretty easily and actually reuse your content. Listen, you guys have a if great you're not day. not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com.